That's funny. Uh, all right, all right, all right. I see. I had to do those feel good moments there because this this is going to send my fucking blood pressure through the roof. Oh, uh, about four hundred and ninety seven of you have sent me either a clip of this or a news story or something. So since you want me to talk about it, I'm going to talk about it and I'm not going to be nice. Uh, Zach, I see that this is a rumble vid. So are we just going to play the news story uh, video or are we going to play the the Fox News report video? Uh, We can if you would like me to. Well, since there's there's actually no in this thing, there's there's no text. It's just the video. So, oh, yo. So go ahead and play it. And then uh, we'll discuss it. All right. Got to get through this ad real quick. And removed from campus in handcuffs for refusing to wear a mask. That student, Grace Smith, and her father, Andrew Smith, are with us now. Thanks to the both of you for being here. Grace, first question to you. Describe what happened. That's not Um, a question. I have been protesting the mask things with fellow students for the entire school year. And I went to school like normal and I left first hour um, after coming back from my second suspension for my, for them calling it uh, a continued willful disobedience for not complying to the mask mandate. Um, I had previously had one $500 citation and during first hour I went down to the front office and they locked me in the lunchroom before I was even suspended and then gave me a second $500 citation for trespassing after my suspension and then proceeded to arrest me after putting the school in lockdown for an hour and a half. Even though I was not a disturbance, I just sat in the lunchroom asking to go back to class. Locked you away for all intents and purposes because you weren't wearing a mask. What's going through your head as this is happening? I thought it was absolutely ridiculous. I wanted to go back to class just so I could learn. And I never thought that they would actually arrest me. It honestly really surprised me to see them put me in cuffs and take me to the jail. Wow. Andrew, as a father, how tough is it to see your daughter being treated worse than actual criminals in our country are currently being treated right now? Well, it's it's appalling. And uh, frankly, we, we approach this from a perspective of constitutional law. And in the state of Wyoming, the constitutional law is uh, not only designed to protect us as individual citizens of this state, but it is also um, written that the, uh, the state of Wyoming will step in and act on our behalf. And we were just appalled that through this whole process that nobody um, would step in and, au- and act on Grace's behalf and support her, her civil liberties um, that were guaranteed to her by the Constitution of Wyoming. And so it's been just amazing um, to witness uh, from an outsider's perspective and, and appalling, frankly, that they would uh, take it this far and, uh, and that nobody through the entire administration, whether it be law enforcement officers, uh, city police chief, uh, county sheriff, governor's office it didn't matter nobody was going to uh step in and help on her behalf let's continue to view this through the prism of being a dad Uh, obviously i've got a a very very young daughter but i want to keep on this dad theme what is your reaction to your daughter taking a stand like this Uh, she is a strong willed child she uh, is brilliant uh, and amazing um So my reaction through this whole process has been that of support, especially once we figured out that uh, the mask policy was unlawful, then then we were all in and we were going to do whatever it took. Um, So uh, boasting with pride, but uh, we never thought that it would go this far. And I'm just... uh, yeah, just so stinking proud of this girl for standing up for herself. And it's not just her. She's she's doing it for the civil liberties of every individual. So let's quickly get in the Albany County School District statement. I'm going to paraphrase part of this. This morning at Laramie High School, there was a brief lockdown related to a student disciplinary disturbance in the main office. Goes on to have a few more details. All students are safe. The lockdown was issued in order to prevent further interruptions to academic learning. So there you have it there. Grace, would you do it again? Uh, If I had to, yes, but 
at this point, it's not safe for me to be at school because there have been threats to my family, and there was a threat of a school shooting last Friday, my so gosh. I won't be returning anytime super soon. All over a mask. Final question to you, Grace. What's your message to those who feel that their rights are being trampled on, whether in this kind of a context or just in general? Um, I believe that every right that you feel is being infringed upon is worth fighting for. And uh, my dad and I have closed off every meeting with a quote of Benjamin Franklin by saying, those who sacrifice a little bit of liberty for a little bit of safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. What the heck are we doing that nice young ladies like yourself are being threatened. You have a gun threat all because you won't wear a mask. You're being locked away. It's a sad state of affairs. But Andrew and Grace, we appreciate you coming on this morning and sharing your story with us. Please come back. Keep us posted. We're curious as to how it's all going to play out. Okay. Uh, the dad held himself together pretty good. I don't know he if it would have been He did. That. He did better than I did. I tell you what, it's a good thing that wasn't going on. Well, what have we been saying literally since I turned this fucking microphone on? Don't say regular microphone. It's that joke. Oh, not, that you joke's, took it off. The joke's not funny anymore. You took it away from me. Get your kids out of public schools. Oh, no, Paul, where I live, it's different. Where I live, there it's different. No, it's not. And this is where I, what I'm going to tell you. Every school administrator, every teacher, Every one of these fucking people, they're all trained in the same socialist, communist, bullshit fucking universities. It doesn't matter that you live in Smallville, USA. Okay? It doesn't matter that you live in Iowa, Wyoming, Texas, whatever. You're like, no, we are a good reasonable we're a conservative community we're this we're that we're not new york we're not pennsylvania or philadelphia we're not whatever no no paul that doesn't happen yes it does and we keep coming to this fucking microphone right here and i keep saying hey look small conservative community teachers principals school administrators acting like totalitarian tyrants acting like authoritarian bags acting like fucking Stasi. How did they learn this? Where did they learn this? These teachers, these administrators all went to universities where they learned to be authoritarian, where they learned to be little fucking Stasi. That's where they learned it. It doesn't matter that your community, you're like, oh no, my community is like, it's just, this is Wyoming, All right? It's Laramie. Laramie sucks. Why? Oh, why you say Laramie sucks? Laramie's full of fucking hippies. Why? Because that's where the university is. Universities are breeding grounds for mindless socialism. Do what the state tells you. The state is smarter than you. The system is better than the individual. That is what they learn in these universities. The system, good. Individual, bad. State, good. Liberty, individual freedom, dangerous. All right, we just yesterday. How do you think a, a, a Notre Dame professor named Karen, who apparently you're like, are right, these people are all dumb. No, they're not. They go to liberal indoctrination centers to get their education. Karen, the dead professor, before she died, told Americans who wouldn't get her shot. See, it wasn't good enough for Karen to get hers, you see. Jared, have you had a conversation with anyone yet where you've said, you know, if the shot's so great and it works and you got yours, why the f do you care whether I get mine? No, I don't. I don't you're, know anybody. So your shot like doesn't work if I don't get one? Your mask doesn't work if I don't wear one? How does that? How is that? So masks are essential for health and safety. 
A, no, they're not. You're a fucking idiot. But let's just say in La La Land, that's true. If your mask works, why the fuck do you care if I don't wear one or not? If the shot works, if the shot's going to keep you from getting sick, why do you give a shit whether I get one or not? Because it's not about shots and it's not about masks. It's about control and it's about conformity and it's about how you have to get in line and conform. And this girl had to be taken out in handcuffs by the fucking Laramie Stasi. And fuck you, you fucking Stasi piece of shit. Yeah, I hope you're listening to me in Laramie. I I'll tell you where I am, motherfucker. You want to fucking come here? Oh, it's easy to bully little girls with your Stasi shit. Socialists and authoritarians and public school officials are fucking bullies. Liberals are bullies. Do we not understand this yet? You have to conform or we will fucking punish you. Do what we say because we said it. Yeah, but that doesn't jibe with individual liberty. And the father is absolutely right. He said the Wyoming Constitution guarantees individual liberty, not the conformity to the mass, not mob rule. Yeah, but mob rule safety, mob rule safety. Fuck off. Every totalitarian regime in the history of the fucking world has used health and safety as their excuse. Don't believe me? Study some history, Pat. Ladies and gentlemen, this shit, I've had an up to my fucking eyebrows with this shit. It's gone far enough. And if you're wearing a uniform, whether it's blue or black or brown or green, you're wearing a fucking polyester uniform and a badge, and you're allowing yourself to be used as the fucking policy enforcers for these fucking Stasi, for these fucking authoritarians, fuck you. Fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. Because when I became a police officer, and this is when I get to say, I've been there, motherfucker. I got the t-shirt. I've fucking seen the elephant. I raised my right hand and swore to defend the Constitution of the United States of America and the state of Ohio. Now, I'm not sure what goes on today because I'm not wearing the badge today, but I'm pretty certain that when these officers were sworn in, that they swore to uphold the Constitution of the United States of America and that of the state of Wyoming. You don't raise your hand to swear and enforce unconstitutional, illegal policies and mandates of the arbitrary authoritarian shitbag who happens to think they're in charge. This is dangerous, America. You don't want people in uniforms with guns arbitrarily just becoming enforcers of policy. The Stasi, the Gestapo, the SS, not so much the SS, but definitely the Gestapo, the KGB, the GRU, I can just keep naming them, they were all policy enforcers. That's what you want from your law enforcement community? You want your law enforcement community being used as policy enforcers? Oh, the dad at the at the at the uh, school board meeting spoke longer than 90 seconds. So we're going to taser him and can take him out in handcuffs. The teacher spoke up. To the superintendent, so we're going to take the female teacher and we these are all stories we reported on. I, I guess that these cops in 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 Laramie are just taken from the the department. The American we haven't even talked about that shit yet, Jared. 
how they, the, the DOJ is looking into parent groups as domestic terrorist organizations. Parent groups that are speaking up against these school boards hmm. are now being classified as domestic terrorists. That's the world we're living in, kids. And you better get fucking serious about it. Because the, well, I don't care. It's not currently affecting me right now. That's the same thing people have been telling me for years. Oh, no, Paul, you don't understand. Our school board and our district, it's all good. No, it's not. No, it's not. Get your kids out of public schools. Get them out. Choose not to. They want to be corrupt and fucking authoritarian and treat your kids like prisoners. Holy fuck, we haven't even addressed the fact that they put the fucking school on lockdown like there was an active shooter. Jared, what's up with that? I don't know. It's crazy. So this this girl is like was this this girl who refused to put a fucking diaper over her face is the same as a, an active shooter. Why do these schools think that they can and should do that? It's fucking control and conformity. Your children will be taught in these buildings to be controlled and to conform. We will teach them to conform. We will teach them not to question authority. We will teach them to do what they're told when they're told to do it so that when we kick them out eventually they can go on and they can be adults who can be controlled that's it uh who put this question here was it zach or was it jared underneath uh, guy cops that, that was me 